me saying, hey, do you have something to tell me? Right. And and so, you know, it's pretty ridiculous, honestly. And, you know, the the whole, um, you know, the way it was done, you know, I think they thought I would be offended by that. And I just, I, I just wasn't. I'm not offended by that whatsoever. What I'm offended by is the fact that um, they've labeled me a cheater, which I'm not. And and I've never, we've never had that in our relationship. We've never had to deal with that in our relationship. And you know, the great thing about Angie and I is we're so confident in who we are as individuals that you know it, it would just never go down that road. We're mature enough to know. And, and to have these discussions before anything like that were to ever happen. So, so you know, it, it, it's interesting. And those types of things sort of kind of punch in the gut a little bit. But, you know, whatever, we're, we're, we're navigating that just fine as well. What was the emotion of that scene? Because, you know, you got very emotional. Like, well, talk to me about that. Like, was it just the fact that, right, like, you know, call me gay, but you're basically saying that I'm an adulterer or was there more to the emotion? So, so the emotion for me was like, you know, the initial thing was anger, right? So somebody that has the, the, I guess, the wherewithal to make up a lie like that. So I was angry to start. And then it quickly flipped to my daughter. My thoughts started to, to move towards her. And it's like, boy, the last thing that I'd ever want her to think is that I would do something like that to her mother. So, so for me, that's where the emotion flipped and, you know, anyone will be able to tell you that it's hard for me to even mention her name without getting emotional. So. Well, you wouldn't be the first person to cry here behind the velvet rope and not to make <laughs> you cry, but I mean, how has this been for your daughter? Like, is she aware of it? Like, did you guys sit down and talk to her and say like, this is now going to come out? I mean, you know, it's social media. I mean, kids at school, like this is Salt Lake Housewives, right? Right. Well, you know, we did, we were able to address it with her and it was a real organic conversation. Um, I think you'll see some of that, you, you know, maybe something play out later on. I'm not sure, but you know, we, um, you know, part of that emotion just to kind of back up just a little bit was like, how long do I have to hold on to this information before I have to have a sit down with her and and let her know what's happening so she's not caught off guard at school with friends or whatever um so so that lent to the emotion as well but um you know we we had an amazing conversation she is so grounded and smart and it just i i mean she she chuckled she she had a really good time with it and you know it was fun and what do you mean hold off? Like hold off just like, you know, producers, like, look, we have to keep everything secret. Like that's the game we're playing or, I mean, because that is the job or just so, like, when you, like when you said like some of the emotion was like holding off, like not knowing like when you could tell her or how long, like, was that just in terms of like, you know, we're filming a TV show and we can't really tell anyone anything really until we're told that we can. Yeah, it, it wasn't so much that it's just like, you know, I, I I wanted to be in a position to have an organic platform to have this discussion with her, if possible. And, you know, circumstances arose where that actually happened. It's, it's crazy how life works. And it worked out perfectly. And we just had a great time with it. So. What did the people at, like you said, like, you know, like as a male hairdresser, yes, like people will come in and say this, like, what have people at Lunatic Friends said, like the people that work there? I mean, are they just like, oh, we've heard this before, you know, just in terms of like, this is such a stereotype, like, how has your staff reacted to this? Well, you know, my staff, you know, has, has never heard this in general, uh, right. in regards to me. I haven't been behind the chair since 2005 on a, you know, on the regular so, you know, I've been managing operations and all the businesses and things like that. So it's not like people are seeing me behind the chair. So it really hasn't been a discussion. And, you know, the staff really hasn't had to deal with that since I've, I've pulled myself out from behind the chair. So, they, you know, they, they were just laughing. They thought it was funny. And it's just like, you know, people that know us just they, they know the ridiculousness of this and. And so, you know, we've just had a tremendous amount of support from our friends and family that are just like, oh, this is nuts, you know. 
Are you shocked that, you know, cause like, look, we can housewives is a show, right? We can talk about who was laid and this and that, and who didn't like their drink, but are you shocked that like something like this, you know, like it is, like you said, infidelity and adultery would be brought onto a show and just like you said, a lie, or is it no, like we knew what housewives was, or are you shocked that like, this is going too far, right? Cause this is your real life. Right. You know, I, I mean, I knew anything was on the table as, as it related to the show. So, you know, I wasn't completely shocked. Um, you know, really, really not a whole lot surprises me at this point. Um, so, you know, it, it, did, it didn't hit me as hard as I think they, w- they wanted it to. Uh, but, you know, Again, just to go back to, you know, the way I was thinking about Electra and the way she was would take it and the way she would hear the information, things like that. That started to play in my mind, which which lent to to me feeling uh, upset about it, you know. But, well, not, but nothing yeah, part of the deal. It's part of the deal. Nothing shocks yeah. me. As you were sitting there and you were crying, not to belittle you, I was like, what did you guys expect? Of course, this is Housewives. Was yeah. there anything in that scene that like we didn't see? Like, you know, there's so much that gets caught. Like, was there, did you feel that that, cause I think it is such an important scene because you did handle it so well. Like, right. Like I'm like a member of the LGBTQIA community. I think you've handled it so well. Like, was there anything that was cut from that scene that we didn't see? Do you feel it was edited correctly? I think it was, you know, it, overall, yes. You know, I think the only thing that I could add is, you know, Angie was um, very, supportive and and really was uh, i think more upset than i think the clip showed so um but but yeah overall it was it was it was right did you guys know so like after that scene like did you realize like as these other scenes played out you know because a lot of things do get edited right like a lot of things don't make it to the show uh-huh. it sounds like you knew this was then going to be part of this show, right? Cause like a lot of times there's a big storyline that isn't, or was it clear to you? Like just in your own head of like, no, 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 this is going to be a thing guys. You know, I, I, I kind of felt like it was a, you know, a very, um, it seemed important to me. So I kind of immediately knew that it would probably make, make the cut. Yeah. Did you or Angie have regrets as all this was coming out? Like, okay, it's a lie, sure. But still, I mean, a lot of times, you know, in the public eye, a lie, especially on Housewives, becomes a real thing. It doesn't make it true, but it still could have rippling effects. Like, did you have any regrets in joining the show? Did Angie, you know, and did you think of res- of quitting the show just when all this was coming out or no? You know, we, we never once thought of, the show i mean we we don't you know the one thing that we don't do is let people win in that kind of way um you know i will say that you know there are roller coaster moments where it's like oh my god what have we done but you know it's it's like we're in we're committed and we're committed to uh you know really doing the best like that we all can 